In this video, we're going to explore one of the amazing apps that is pre-installed on your district iPad. You're going to look for the app that looks like this. It is entitled ClassLink. Now you would locate that app and once you do, you should probably for the first time encounter a screen that looks similar to this. Now, once you've set this up, it will remember your district. But in order to set that up, we're going to go ahead and search. So I'm bringing up my ability to type and I'm going to go ahead and search Hacienda. Seems like it already found it without having to type in the entire word. And there it is, Hacienda Puente Unified School District. And once you're here, you're going to be able to type in your student's username and password. And these are the same login credentials that they would use to access any district device. There is not a need for you to enter at hlpnet.net or any of that, simply their username and password. Now, if your teacher has provided you a QR code, you can simply click on the icon that looks like this here, and that will pull up the uh, camera so that you can be able to access the QR code. It's asking me if I would like access. I'm not going to log in with my QR code, but rather I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my username and password. So I'm gonna click don't allow, I'm gonna close that. You're going to enter that in here. Now, once you've entered the username and password, I do recommend that you toggle this button on here so that you don't need to do this every single time. Now I'm going to go ahead and click sign in and your screen should look something like this. And these are all of the many apps that are available. Now, in addition to the folders that, that are already pre-installed on your district iPad, you have access to all of these apps that are here. Now, in addition to scrolling to find an app that you may be looking for, you're always able to be able to type that in here, okay, in the search. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say, for example, if I were trying to open up Dreambox, it's right here in this folder. I'm going to click on that. And through single sign-on, your student should already have access to their account and they're able to work and do their activities here. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now every student's class link may look slightly different in terms of the layout, but all of these apps have already been pre-installed and students should be able to access them. Now, if you're curious as to what else is here, quickly run down some of those options. On the top left, we have those three little lines and that's to indicate to you who your student is. You can verify their username. You could also sign out. You can see at the very bottom of the screen here as an option. In terms of the backpack, sometimes teachers have assigned some of the things that they want their students to access. And so if there's specific apps that your child teacher would like for them to be able to use, those would be located here from the my classes section. I'm going to go ahead and click again on those three dots. Where did I go? I went to my classes. Okay. Let me go back to my apps. Now, what else do you see? You can see in the top right hand corner, you see the number two in that box. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Those are the most recent apps. So if there's an app that you had used recently, you could simply click there and quickly access that. And that's it. This is class link and the many apps that are available inside of it already pre-installed by the district. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.